Welcome Park Explorers, it's Mr. Stromberger here. Uh, today, the park in the natural area that I wanted to highlight and show you all uh, is the Navarino uh, Nature Center and the, uh, and the area around it, which is the Navarino Wildlife Area. Um, this natural area is really, really big. It's like 15,000 acres. That means one acre is if you walk 200 feet in one direction and you turn to the right and you walk another 200 feet, the kind of imaginary square you would make there, that's in just one acre, right? So you can imagine 15,000 of those is a lot of land. So there's, uh, this is a really cool habitat. Actually, there are three different types of habitat here in the uh, wildlife area. Um, they have, uh, this area encompasses uh, wetlands, so a lot of ducks and water, water birds live there, some fish and frogs, amphibians, reptiles, they love the wetlands. Um, a woodland area, which would be heavy forest, so a lot of uh, oak trees and maple trees, birch, aspen, um, and then all the animals that live in the forest, you know, there's owls and coyotes and uh, there are bear that live up here you know but if we leave them alone they'll leave us alone right especially if we're hiking around during the day um, and all the other animals of the woodland and then also there is a prairie habitat here so uh, a lot of uh, prairie animals um, especially deer like to be on the edges of prairies uh, a lot of sandhill cranes and a lot of other animals uh, enjoy uh, the prairie habitat so really unique spot here um, but the nature center it's uh, we're here on a Sunday so it is closed it's closed on Sundays and Mondays and um, but it is a really cool informative place to check out if you come uh, the trails the whole trail system here is very well marked it's an interpretive trail so there's lots of signs that kind of tell you what you're looking at um, there are lots of bugs out here so be sure to bring your bug spray okay um, but uh, if you'd like to zoom in on the on the map, um, the nature uh, the nature trails are uh, really neat. So um, they're very well marked. They're color coded. You can they go around these flowages. Um, the, actually, the Wolf River runs uh, by the property property and feeds uh, these lakes. Um, that you can come and, and check out and yeah lots of ducks and water birds love these lakes there's lots of fish here although um, I'm not too sure of the fishing regulations you can always check that on the DNR's website but or your parents can but um, we are going to be going on this purple loop uh, it's supposed to be a pretty cool trail and maybe a little bit on the green loop to go check out this uh, this bog that's over here, which is a really wet habitat that, um, that some animals call home. So, um, yeah, so we're excited to go and uh, we'd love to have you join us. So come on. Hello again, kids. Uh, this is Mr. Stromberger. We're here at the, uh, still at the Navarino Nature Center. Um, now, this boardwalk that I'm standing on is uh, actually overlooking a vernal pond. Um, this pond fills up in the springtime and there's lots of frogs and, and other macro invertebrates or water bugs that live in this pond. Um, Adriana, my daughter is very excited. Um, but sandhill cranes also love this wetland habitat. You know, they kind of go back and forth between a prairie and a wetland, depending on uh, what food they want to eat right then. So, um, but if you come out here in the evenings, uh, there usually you can hear some sandhill cranes and see them. Uh, it's a really good spot um, to see those magnificent birds. So um, we're gonna continue on our trail and, uh, and we'll see you soon. So my kids and I are exploring uh, Navarino Nature Center still, 
And uh, we came across this prairie where there's lots of cool plants out here. I see a lot of um, uh, just a lot of different uh, wildflowers that, um, you know, that pollinators uh, kind of need to survive, right? And those plants uh, need the pollinators to survive. So um, a good, a good kind of symbiotic relationship where one species needs another. Um, but also another cool thing is this informative sign uh, is telling us about Wisconsin bats. So bats are really uh, an important part of our ecosystem. And we're, we talk about in my class, the food web. Well, bats are mammals. Um, and the main thing that the bats here in Wisconsin eat are insects. Um, and they really love mosquitoes. You know, bats can eat like over a thousand mosquito-sized bugs in one hour, right? So when we think of bats, we kind of think, ooh, that's kind of a scary thing. But actually, they help us a lot because I don't know about you, but I do not like being bitten by a bunch of mosquitoes. So um, bats are a really important part uh, to our to our ecosystem. Um, now, in the distance, uh, there are three bat boxes which are hanging uh, up on the up on the poles, and um, bat boxes are important because uh, bats. Um, you know, they live, they like to live in caves, but sometimes they can't find that habitat. So, uh, us as humans, we kind of help them out and give them a little home, just kind of like a birdhouse, right? Um, so bat boxes are pretty easy to build. If, um, your mom or dad is pretty crafty, you could even find a design online and, and make a bat box to hang in your own backyard to kind of help, um, the bats, give them a place to live and also maybe not have so many mosquitoes in your backyard, right? Um, but they're, uh, they're really cool creatures and uh, you can learn more about them. Um, they're kind of in need of some help right now because of this white nose syndrome. It's like a little fungus that gets on their nose and it wakes them up in the winter time when they're trying to hibernate. And when it wakes them up, when they're sleeping, they, they spend a lot of energy that they shouldn't be spending. And, um, and that's not good for them. So, um, but you can learn more about the white nose syndrome and how it's affecting bats and all the bats of Wisconsin. We have a lot of different species that live here. And, um, but yeah, there's plenty to see out here at Navarino Nature Center. So boys and girls, uh, we had a lot of fun out here at the Navarino Nature Center. Um, it's a really cool place. Now we only explored a small little portion of the trails, but um, you can really walk and go hiking as far as you want with your family. So uh, there's all the flowage, big ponds out there, um, and you can, there's lots to explore out here at Navarino. I would say um, before you and your parents go out on a hike, uh, to take a picture of one of the maps that are around because some of the trails aren't uh, very clear uh, to where, which, which way you're going, okay? So if you have a map, you won't get lost, all right? So uh, come out to Navarino and come check it out. Um, remember, they're closed, the nature center's closed on Sunday through Monday, um, but it is really cool to kind of go in there and see all the interpretive stuff they have. And, um, you know, you do have to wear a mask and kind of keep your distance nowadays inside the building. But outside, it is a gorgeous place to come and, and check out some wildlife. All right, we'll see you next time.